And then we got Brother Jackie. What's going on, Brother Jackie? Who's the Lord? You might be the boss, but who's the master? Jesus Christ. Jesus, say it aloud. Jesus Christ. Amen, brother. Amen. We got Brother Jackie and Philip Ness Thomas, One Righteousness on YouTube. Uh, servant. I used to be a hood, now I'm a servant. Servant of the Most High God, the King. Anyway, Brother Jack and I were talking about uh, there's only really two religions in the world. And all other major religions, even Christendom, for those of you that don't understand uh, the term Christendom, uh, I'll make another video on that one and you can check out some other posts and stuff like that. Or just uh, if you want to link me up on Skype or on Facebook uh, or send me a message, I'll explain what that means. Most people understand what I mean. Uh, you know, the Bible says in the last days we're living in apostasy, so there's a false bride, so that's basically Christian dumb. Uh, all of organized religion, basically, and uh, people that won't do the will of Christ is Christian, Christian dumb. Those who talk about Jesus but don't walk, or they just do a whole bunch of their own inventions or and use the world to try to love people, that's Christian dumb. <coughs> so it not, has nothing to do with Christ anyways. But anyway, we're talking about these two different religions in the world. And uh, there's only two. Uh, the first one is self-worship. Uh, self-worshippers. If you live for yourself, then you are uh, of that one religion. And that pretty much encompasses all organized religions. And even the ones who say they love Jesus, who we know is the master and the lord of the universe. He's the king of kings and the lord of lords. He claimed to be God, died and rose again. Uh, there's no, We can't find his bones. Uh, they only know where, they, there's even speculation on exactly where he was buried. But all other major re religious leaders, we can pretty much find where they've been buried and what city and everything. And, you know, even the, the modern day religious leaders of different uh, idolatry today, you got, you know, like, uh, I don't know, some of the big celebrities, you know, out there. Uh, we all know where they're buried and they have these special things. So anyway, so two, two religions, self-worshippers and those who deny self, like Jesus said. Jesus said in Luke 9, 23 and 14, 27, that if any man uh, will follow him, he must deny his own self, take up his own cross every day, uh, or he can't be my disciple. So you can't be a disciple of Jesus if you don't take up the cross and deny yourself. So that's that's a definition of Christian. There's lots of scriptures that actually define what a true follower of Christ is, a Christian, which we get modern-day term Christian. So... Um, or spiritual Jew, whatever you want to call it. Hold on one sec, bro. So so the key is, there's only two major religions, and all other organized religion and Christian dumb included come underneath self-worship. Because if you really look at their life, they're not carrying a cross. They're not suffering with Jesus. <clears throat> they're not walking a narrow road. Uh, they're on a wide road. There's, they're lukewarm. Uh, they haven't counted. No one's ever even told them the cost. That's why most Christians in Christendom are either deceived or just won't do Jesus' will because nobody uh, has actually, uh, there's not too many, there is now, uh, we see God really moving, but um, I think we're in the stage right now where God's raising up true standards of righteousness uh, to to be a contrast to Christendom, especially because uh, even that system is really falsely converting people. Uh, the pastors are baptizing their own converts into this uh, half Jesus or fake Jesus or the pastors are baptizing these people into their own lifestyle so you see a pastor taking two three four thousand dollar vacations uh, strictly just for leisure uh, and then you, you know they're going to sporting events and yeah there's even some evangelists I know in Toronto that think it's okay to go to uh, this uh, inventions of man and flesh and go out and uh, watch men in tights hit a baseball over a fence or run with a pigskin down a field, uh, be all macho and have half-naked girls, uh, cheerleaders with their pom-poms and uh, all the advertising that supports this is wickedness and uh, basically uh, promoting drunkenness, sexual immorality, you got like Axe or Budweiser. By the way, Bud doesn't make you any wiser, I got that from Dr. Ken Hova, you should check out him out, he'll... He destroys evolution with uh, the wisdom God's given him, and he's also a scientist as well, so and a doctor. So, 
Um, you know, so you, you really have to look at somebody's walk to tell if they're in the faith. By the way, faith, by definition, means God's works. I mean, it actually means works. Uh, of course, if somebody accepted the Lord by true repentance, and you, you would see some instantaneous fruit, uh, maybe minimal, but you'd see something. If they died that moment, uh, they would go to heaven because of Jesus died for their sins, and they actually started, uh, confessed with their mouth, and they believed in their heart in the most initial stage. But that's very, very rare. Uh, most people are called to a testimony or have a testimony, even if it's just that Jesus died for their sins and then they died. And there are some small stories of that, but that's a rarity. So anyway, going off tangent here on a whole bunch of truth that's all interlinked, but the main thing we're trying to share is that there's only two religions in the world. There's self-worshippers and those who deny self. So you need to examine your life. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11, 31 and 32, if you would judge yourself, you wouldn't be judged with the world. And so what God does is He judges you and He'll send messengers, brothers that are not any better than you, but God might have just got under their butt a little earlier than you, uh, and they came to repentance, and so now their job is to go and tell you the truth and show you the narrow road and the, the, the cross that you're called to bear and uh, die to all of the passions. Uh, uh, even Brother uh, Jackie here has been sharing with us how he's been uh, destroying some of his idols and things in his life that were taking uh, God's place in his heart, and there's God doesn't get like 75-80%. Uh, in his, from what he desires, uh, he gets all of it. And he says, uh, I, I, I like it. You're supposed to liken God unto you as a husband. And, uh, you know, none of you want people cheating on you when you're dating somebody. So neither does God. God wants all your heart, which is the number one commandment. You wouldn't have idols and stuff in your life if you're actually fully understanding how to walk the walk and be in the will and be in the faith. There's only one real faith. Uh, there's lots of organized religions that say that they, uh, you know, my faith in Islam or this and that. But we know that their uh, their claimed God is really just a version of Satan, uh, another concoction of Satan, because Satan has a million counterfeits to deceive people away from the truth, which was we know is the Lord Jesus, because Jesus spoke in a way that either he was a total arrogant, uh, you know, deluded in his mind to think that he was God, or he really was God, and. The evidence in the history and, and all the wonderful works and miracles he did are recorded in secular writings. And I mean, there's more than enough evidence. So we love you, YouTube, Facebook, uh, wherever you're seeing this. Uh, get in contact with us. We're not too big that we can't talk to try to talk to every single person. Uh, we love you. If you feel our ministry is profitable, uh, get in contact with us. We'd love to, uh, we love to see God work and move uh, in your life and for you to join us in preaching, you know. So... Um, Think about what you're living for and uh, judge yourself. Are you a self-worshipper or are you dead to self, like the Lord Jesus says? And uh, Some of us are dead and dying. It's not always an instantaneous thing. It's day by day. If you start just walking God's way, uh, you're guaranteed salvation. But the moment you start going back and practicing uh, sin, I'm reminded of, before I go here, Romans 12, 1 and 2. It says, uh, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ, which means the Word of God. Um, uh, 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 there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ, uh, but uh, those who walk after the Spirit and not the flesh. So if you're walking after the flesh and the worldly things that we talked about, uh, the love of the Father is not in you, John, 1 John 2.15, and you're not being a living sacrifice. So don't fool yourself, uh, you guys. Uh, think about what you're living for. Either you're dead to self or you're uh, um, serving self, self-worship. And self-worship, if you ask any Satanists, hardcore Satanists, They'll tell you it's Satanism. Grace and peace. We love you. God bless.